all I need to see is a reflected Laguna Blade, and that's just going to make me pretty happy. Yeah. That will be insane. But, you know, also to kind of not not directly counter Sand King, but still, Ember, uh, Ember Spirit and Anti-Mage, they will be able to survive um, Sand King's uh, Dagger Epicenter, even though he comes in, unless, you know, the perfect stun lands and the perfect Laguna Blade lands on you with yeah. that. If that's not the case, both of, you know, kind of the carry on the side, uh, whatchamacallit, on Geek Fan will be able to survive the Sand King initiate. So, you know, that's a plus. I see for you. Uh, yeah, I, I could definitely see that. Also, there's uh, plenty of room for counter initiate. Exactly. If uh, Sand King goes in first, and you've always, places. yeah, you've got uh, the ability to not only swap places, but to uh, black hole once everybody piles into the epicenter. So. Let's see how things are going to start off as we get into our third game of this APAC Qualifier Final. Uh, Geek Fam, one of the stronger teams with some legendary players, down 0-2 to start things off. Once you go down 0-3, your chances of making it out to uh, the finals in Xi'an are astronomically lower. Yeah, like, it, like even if you lose three, right, and you win the, the rest of the four on, games, it'll yeah. still be hard to kind of... Uh, Go up there in top two to go to Sean. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Slow. Trying to catch out yeah. on to Bryant, just harassing him back. I mean, it's Earth Spirit, so uh, we're just going to be able to regen through the rest of that. Pop a tango, and we'll be uh, just fine. Maybe turning it right back around on to Wacky. He's going to get whacked a little bit okay. as he backs out. Right, there we go. Fighting That's over fine. the rune. Uh, this is not the fight that you want to get into this early, losing this much health. Wow, Wacky, Negi, Blizzard, oh and Oh my Ocan. god, Earth Got Spirit! Uh, yes, hello, please Whoa. respond. What? Okay, so now you know why Geek Fam is starting with a 0 and 2. Uh, well, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves <laughs> here. Uh, but suffice it to say, that is not the way you're wanting to start things out. Uh, after taking so much damage initially, yeah, definitely not the way that you want uh, that to begin. All right, and we do see the Ember Spirit mid. Uh, yeah. Something a, that I uh, wanted to see. I, I mean, I definitely would have expected, uh, you know, AM to get a nice uh, safe lane. Um, but uh, especially starting off with that Earth Spirit death, I'm just like, okay, well, clearly it's just not starting out the way uh, that they intended. All right, well, the Undying is definitely harassing. Obviously not going to chase it. It's level one. But he will force him back. Here we go. They're going to commit a little bit. Yeah. Undying is just going to keep him away. That seems like Burrow Strike for damage almost. Yeah. I'm just like, well, your mana pool doesn't really support that, but he's got <laughs> enough for two. Here we go. And I think he's got Ooh. mangoes. Yeah. Oh, that's the yeah, Undying uh, with mangoes. Yeah. He is definitely going to need those. Already out of mana. All right, there we go. Oh, uh, Anthony does hit level two. The Burrow Strike does land. It's not going to get the kill, obviously, but. Enough to scare him away. The Shadow Shaman is also fall, uh, has fallen back to kind of pull its jungle creeps as well to stack. Kind of surprised to see uh, the uh, Eidolons and Enigma in, in lane. Usually you get out as, as quickly as you can, but I guess the point of the Enigma is to either two on one or one on two, uh, or two on two or, or one on two and just shove the wave off. Shackles on Enegi. In the trees, dangerously near that turret. Uh, man, they are really uh, not afraid uh, to keep pushing on in here. Not afraid of the uh, anti-mage at all. All right. Well, we do have a pause. Uh, well, the G might stand for go, go so yeah. we might be able to get back into this really quickly. Looks like they might have just had a momentary issue and then uh, get right. right back ready to go. Uh, I'm happy that, you know, you know, whenever there's a pause in any esports, right? You know, we're you we're oh getting right back goodness. into it. One more in the Sandstorm damage. Does yeah, enough, and that's going to be Negi picking himself up a kill. Oh, uh, and anti mage he's probably not going to die, but wow. Forcing uh, the, the re-TP yeah. back up to top lane. A little bit of zap, but Chance way too tanky. It's undying. I'm, I'm really surprised at how well that pick is working out top. Here we go, okay, Earth, here we go Spirit, Earth Spirit, the shove right on out. But an immediate oh my stun gosh. there. I mean, Lena really nice. coming up with the perfect counterplay just in the nick of time. Oh my gosh, if the Lena was able to get one more auto attack in for that Earth Spirit, I think he, she could have had that kill. 
in the back. The but clutch light strike array, like yeah. the immediate counter stun yeah. right after Earth Spirit kicked her back out. Um, mm. Very well timed. Oh, Another one actually it, does hit the ember. Not enough mana, though. In the wave. Yeah. Uh, does she have any mangoes? No. I, I, I want to say she has a clarity, but obviously you don't want to use that while you're taking damage. Okay. Well, she, does, she is out of uh, mana. Earth Spirit is kind of rotating around to see if there's any opportunities for him to support his team in a gank. I love watching my supports just buy an orb of venom and walk between the lanes, just being annoying. Um, oh, I think that's is. exactly what the doctor ordered here. Uh, shackles up, but there's the sandstorm. Don't want to run in there to fight. AM. Uh, well, I was attempted to counter, but oh, actually might go down the last. The oracle hit. came up. Wacky. Come up? Burrow strike on through the trees. Nowhere to run or hide. Uh, I mean, Ember's here, so yeah. a lot of damage coming through. I think Chance might have been off a little bit Okay, more. there we go. The Undying does go down. The Oracle seems to be in danger as well. Earth, um, not Earth. Uh, Ember Spirit has a lot of mana, and he has a lot of health to work with. And there we go. Another kill down. Yeah, Chance coming through there at the end to just secure that. Lock it up. Five yeah. to three. Signify with a 1k gold lead. Now, let's not make too much out of it, but we might be extending that a little bit more. Venge. On oh. to idle on KYXY nice. dropping down, and there's the last hit. All right, well, Spectre, obviously known for her, uh, her damage, doing her job. While all that crazy chaotic team fight happened at top, she knew she was in the clear just to 1v1 that Enigma. Good pickup, good lead. We'll see if Signify will be able to take and keep this control going. Oh. Uh, okay, well, that's what Deleted. a Laguna Blade does. Yeah. So... Not surprised. Of course, as soon as you hit six, that's when a Laguna Blade <laughs> is, is at its most potent. It's a little bit like Finger of Death uh, on Lion. It's that yeah. big nuke. You want to hit the button as fast as you can. All right. Well. Did Blizzard just pick up both of those bounty runes? Did he? Yeah, I think he I, did. Yeah, I think he did. Wow. Oh. Burrow. Autos. Yeah. He's injected with the poison, but he's not going to pop, so. Ooh, a little bit too late. But, you know, if you look at the last hits and the CS on the left side, well, now it's all kind of evened out. But for the time being, for a split second at least, oh! But before that happens, Enigma not having his day. Earth Spirit, though, coming back on into the oh, Oracle. He's got the right got. clicks. Okay. Takes him out. Say, yeah, I was going to say. Well, good gank coming through, but as I was saying, you know, uh, for a moment there, Signify, three of Signify's uh, players were all the way at the top for last hits and denies, and you know that's not a good sign. Usually you want to kind of, you know, ha have it mingled, uh, even though you, your team is on the backside, uh, getting pushed to the corner, you want at least one of your carries, uh, potential carries to be somewhere in the top three regarding yeah. the net worth and regarding uh, the last hits and the knives. Where are they? Are they not in the top three? Well, they no. weren't, but now they are. Well, I mean, the top three right now are, networks. yeah, just everything Zignify wants out of this game. Mm -hmm. All right, Spectre definitely having his time with the net worth. Uh, same goes for Lena, right? Uh, she was able, Swifty was able to capitalize right when he hit six, uh, level six, so we saw that right on screen, so. I keep getting Spectre and Vengeful Spirit mixed up. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. They're, yeah. they're a lot more similar than I like to think they are. All, All right, right, Brian in. Earth Spirit with the kickback. Where is it at? Oh, the, oh, the shackles. To... Making it too easy. Oracle trying his best, but he does go down. Third Spirit. Uh, oh, Where wow. Swifty. Okay. Just the, the oh drive my God. by. The stun is going to land Laguna Blink. Light Strike Array. Does he even need to pop yeah. the R? No. Nope. Yeah, he's going to save that. But either way, good trade, good kills, good pickup. Right now, Signify is definitely uh, was at the lead from the beginning of the game till now. They know right. how to keep that lead. They don't want to give it up. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's very similar to Cerberus where, you know, if they ever get a lead, right, they know how to keep it. They know how to capitalize on it. They don't want to lose that lead. And 
right now signify they are showing um, consistency here. Yeah, but the, the game is going to take a little bit of a different trajectory uh, as we move towards the, the middle. Uh, we're going to see a little bit less uh, rotations as the money for wards and the wards just themselves keep coming out, make that a little bit harder than it used to be. And of course, like uh, Vengeful, or not uh, Vengeful Spirit, but uh, Ember Spirit and Anti Mage are going to keep farming up. And so that's something that will, over time, kind of flip the script on this top three net worth. Oh, there's the okay. Laguna Blade coming undying through. Finishing things up here. Yeah, Undying just not afraid at all to lead the strike. Tombstone oh under the tower. Oh God, the Spectre is going to finish it off. Oracle and the Undying is taking a hit from the tower each to allow the Spectre to finish that kill. Yeah, and you can't even target down the Tombstone. This is just a peak Undying. Uh, usage right here. Uh, it forces out the glyph as well, and wow, this is all Signify all the time. Yeah, and if you notice uh, the rotations coming through from Signify, uh, very early rotations. Geek Fam, they're, uh, you know, they're a little bit behind. You don't want to be too behind, but right now, even with the mobilities, right, like the Anti-Mage and the Ember Spirit on their side, they're very late on the follow-ups, but this time, Lena, we know that she is very low on mobility, but still that TP. Oh, dodge is out going on the light striker rage. Are we gonna oh see my it? Gosh. The right clicks on down. Brian! Able to just Ooh. barely get away. The spirit yep. of the earth lives to see another day. Because the Laguna Bleed was on cooldown, it comes back right now. <laughs> if she had it. Seconds. Yeah, if she had it, he was a dead he was a dead spirit. I love the wind lace here just to make sure that Lena can just run as fast as humanly possible yeah. right between the lanes. And especially now with Lacuna Blade up, we're gonna we're not gonna see some passive oh farming here. Here we go, Shadow Shaman. Oh, it starts with the Lacuna Blade. Oh, it's going got to the last yeah. hit. Yeah, perfect usage there by Swifty. This Lena early game. Oh man, so rough. Oh, but their spirit, they wanna pay him back. The Sand King not in a great position, does go down. Not in the position that you want to be, but if you notice the minimap, the ward was there. That is how the Earth Spirit was able to initiate into that Sand King, uh, catch him off guard in a way to finish that kill, pick up a kill for themselves uh, to get it started here. Looking for a gank on the mid lane. Wacky senses something wacky and uh, is going to be playing a little bit more safely. I still don't think he's out of the woods just yet. Well, he's literally out of the woods, but might still be in danger. He wants to, he wants to beat. Oh, but in the action bottom lane, nope. Swifty. He's landing all the stuns today. Yeah, it's yeah. like Light Striker Ray has a faster cast time for him or something. <laughs> Not supposed to be that easy to land. But yeah, right now, oh my God, Lena. We were talking about how you know she is, she lacks a lot of mobility, but. Gosh, it just Are we going back in again? I mean, thankfully, Undying's level six, so it's not going to be quite as easy as you would have expected. Oh. Uh, I mean, Ember Spirit, Ember Spirit. Oh, oh my God. can't dodge that. Every every you know 60 uh, 60 seconds, Lina is just going to come to zap his death. All right here we go, another Sand King Sandstorm, and the Undying. Oh, oh, Nagi got the kill yeah. for that. So yeah. uh, okay, so the Earth Spirit does go down. Oh my goodness. Oh, now extra cast range. Okay, as if you needed to blade people from across the map. Uh, whew, man, this is very, very scary. And you know, once you have the ability to, you know, buy a few talismans, get a hood or something, just get, make yourself a little bit more resistant to this massive burst damage, uh, then finally Lena might start to fall off. But the problem is that while she controls this early game, it gives more and more time for the Spectre to farm on up and uh, just get harder and harder to kill. Yeah, look at this net worth. It feels as if Signified, they're like on a bet right now. Who will get more money? <laughs> and like it was Lena for you know the early mid game and now Spectre has caught up and here another stun lands onto Anti-Mage. This is the AM. You're not supposed to be able to do that to him. Wacky on the chase. Does oh he get gosh. the stun? No, oh. Laguna Blade. 10. Laguna Blade hero kills. 10. That's quite a few. This is just uh, absurd. This, this is reaching your peak. Uh, Lena, like, 
late game fantasy. Yeah. This is what you want to do. You run around the map, you press R a lot, kill people. He's having a good time. He's having a ball. Oh, There's there the black go. hole oh. catching everybody. Uh, but at the end, I don't think that's necessarily the uh, the hole he was looking yeah. for. Blizzard, the Spectre, just going to town. Nothing can stop him now. Oh, the Ember Spirit does come in to try to do something. Sand King does go down. Can't even kill him. Look at the Oracle heal. All right, well, very unfortunate. Um, it was a two to three trade still. Signified benefits from this fight. Spectral Dagger does land on to the Ember Look Spirit. The Look chase. Oh. Lena's waiting for it. Where's the R button? Doesn't oh even gosh. need Get it. Going okay. for the end one. Can't find it. Oh, the Bro the Strike. Kick. They're following up with it. Where's the Logo. R? There it is. A mega kill for Swifty. Oh my goodness. They are literally just racing for that first place. Lena and Spectre, they're just, oh my God, they're just a tag team that is unstoppable. Is there a, a contest we don't know about? Is there a, yeah. a, a stretch goal on their compendium for this event? I don't know. But, uh, I mean, it's like they're playing for some sort of rewards. Look at this. They are always out of position. Geek Fam, I don't know. Uh, they do have the Riverside Ward. They do have the offensive wards, but uh, I, I don't know what is up with them. Maybe they're they're not used to, you know, the, the uh, Korean uh, playing environment in the Internet Cafe, or they may be jet-lagged in some way. Maybe it's too early for them like it is for me. Something is off for Geek Fam right now. Uh, they're just getting picked off one by one. And, you know, I wouldn't say this if they were just losing team fights, right? They're just getting picked off by one by one. Again, as I was saying that. Yeah, uh, Wicked Sick is uh, what I would say about this Lena performance, regardless of how good it was. Uh, whew, wow. I love the extra magic resistance from uh, KYXY. Yeah. Just saying, look, I uh, don't want to get uh, right clicked. So. Ember Spirit, I don't know. Ember he's Spirit go, going yeah. in. I don't know if that's the direction you need no, to move yeah. right now, my dude. I mean, we've still got level. Uh, okay, yeah, there's yeah, going to be the Spectral Dagger. I think that's really all all you need. They actually could have chased that. Oh, well. Earth Spirit as well. Doesn't want to get caught here, but the Shaman. Oh, they are going to kind of commit. Oh, it doesn't land. Yeah, where's the Magnetize going to come through here by Bryant? It looks nice like all. Wacky trying to get the counter engaged here. Undying is in there, but the dying comes through there. It's for the Shadow Shaman. <laughs> it's like Swifty was trying yeah. to kill Blizzard there for a second. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you're on the same team. But oh, he Brian, is. Brian. Oh, the TP wow. is successful. So close there. They knew he was there, too. But if you notice, I because there's so much rotation coming from Signify, uh, just picking up kills, 26 to 9. I, I don't think other than the top tower, the uh, mid tower went, uh, did go down. But it took them uh, a very long time, considering that they were, uh, you know, so ahead in kills and net worth and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the towers at top and mid went down pretty slow. The bottom tower is still alive, it seems, as uh, they're going to take their time. But Ember Spirit, they just go in. Epicenter just to clear the wave, and it does yeah. do the job. Uh what are we watching here? I, I guess basically Signify just shoving waves right and left. Yep. They are just playing it carefully. They are doing uh, quick rotations. Somehow they're avoiding the wards because you see the wards on the minimap, you know. It's not like Geek Fam isn't warding at all. They are warding. Yeah. It's just, they're just out positioned right now. They're getting picked off and they're allowing the CCs to land all the time. Well, half of it's allowing, half of it's Swifty just being an actual god. So, uh, despite their best efforts to try to escape, you know, now, okay, sure, they're not dying. They're able to run away, but nothing's stopping these waves from pushing. They're just running between the lanes, shoving them in over and over again. Yeah, and, um, you know, just a, a, a thing that came to my mind. Every, every time I see this Lena just use her skills, right? It kind of reminds me of... Uh, the new X-Men movie that's coming out, Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix, yeah. yeah. I was like, like, yeah, it's like, to say oh. the exact same thing. Mm. Oh my goodness, he's like, oh, yeah, that's how OP Phoenix is in X-Men, and this is how OP Lena is right now in this game. Still haven't seen actual Phoenix yet. Maybe yeah. we can make that yeah. joke again later on. <laughs> so. yeah. Once again, like I said, just clearing the waves over and over again. Stan King proxies another one. 
bashes that back as Lena one shots that mm -hmm. top wave and soon to be that top turret. All right. They, are they going to force out a glyph already? Uh, otherwise, just going to click it down. B. Well, we don't see Geek Fam uh, anywhere near to try to defend this. They are just farming at the bottom side. I guess they want to kind of uh, pull back Signify from top to uh, call them bot by pressuring it, but it, do it doesn't seem like it's swaying uh, Signify at all. We have three members of Signify at top. Still. Here comes Brian. Looks like they know what's down there. Can they find any of it? The answer is no. And here comes Spectre. So many Spectres left to choose from. Oh Goes for the gosh. reality. And Wacky's there to go on a killing spree? Okay, I guess that's one way to do it. Forget the Lena. It's all about that Oracle. Wow. All right, well, this is what happens when you knock on the wrong door. Yeah. You, know, you should have left them at top lane. You shouldn't have called them back down. Huh. And this is what you get. You know, you pick a fight with the wrong team, with the wrong guy, you end up getting hit, you end up getting knocked out. Yeah, this is really just a one-two punch at this point. <laughs> um, oh, it looks like they Another found one. KY, XY, and the, the uh, Flame Spirit. I don't know. The ult does. Uh, the black here. hole okay. is a little bit too good. Yeah, I mean, the Ember Spirit uh, definitely doing damage now. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely hit that moment, but the problem is that Spectre's just been allowed to farm this entire game. Right click, right click, right click, and a killing spree to come through. Gosh, the game actually lives here. For Yo, how long? Und Undying is trying to catch. Oh, oh Ember, Ember Spirit just barely survives, and he goes around with a triple. All kill. We have an ace here, so Signify uh, gives them an all kill. An ace comes out. Mom, get the camera. Yeah. This is a uh, a Polaroid moment here for Geek Fam. Somehow, some way, they take what has been a pretty much total failure of the early game and turn it around into not only a triple, not only bounty runes, but a complete wipe. And now, things might just be turning around. Looking for Mjolnir, almost completed on that Ember. Well, I did not expect Team Wipe. Uh, yeah, yeah, like the team fight didn't go so well. The Enigma ult was definitely a, a good one with uh, Absolutely Ember Spirit huge. in there doing the DPS, doing the damage. However, you know, I expected maybe two to three uh, heroes going down, not all five. And this is definitely a setback, a huge setback uh, for Signify. Even though they are still a little bit ahead, it's 28 to 14. But look at the net worth. It's only 1k difference now. Uh, missed there on that Burrow Strike. But uh, the things that were strong are still strong for Signify. Uh, Lena will maybe uh, phase off or fade off a little bit, but it's still super, super strong. Right. The problem is that uh, when the phase of the game turns uh, to big team fights, I think that absolutely could start going Geek Fam's way. A catch oh, in there. Go. The Laguna Blade comes through. A takedown on the Shadow Shaman. Not the end of the world here. But it yep. does force a BKB out on but he's not gonna this Enigma. Uh, no, for sure not. Uh, we'll get a heal back in just a second from that. Gone. See, the thing is, uh, Signify was already rotating around two bot to secure those two kills. Uh, they thought that Enigma and the Shadow Shaman would run back, but they didn't. So it took a little bit longer for the rest of... Uh, the team of Signify that was uh, smoked to come around because they were rotating yeah. through the river, but they weren't falling back. So it took them a little while, but still they did pick up those two kills. So props to them. Unfortunately, Signify will uh, come back and say uh, the ace that you guys got was a huge mistake. And now, I mean, let's take a look at Spectre. We're starting to see uh, the builds really come through. If we could click on uh, Spectre and really see these items, I think she's on three. Completed, if I'm not mistaken. Three core items, maybe. But look at the net worth. Anti Mage has caught up. He was so behind that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't even mentioning him. Yeah, I, I mean, we could have like seen that coming. And Battle Fury is just yeah. gonna get you there, right? I mean, that's just what anti mages do best. Uh, they might uh, kind of take it a little bit of a hit early on, but they're they're gonna get their farm. It's super hard to totally shut an anti mage down. And yeah, look at that. Uh, actually, does. 
force out that uh, counter spell. Takes a turret, walks away. So slowly but surely, Geek Fam, it seems as if they're not as pushed back to the corner as they were five minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But they are still kind of, you know, they have to win maybe, you know, one or two small skirmishes or a, a huge team fight like they did uh, previously with the five all kill. But, you know, it started to come together for Geek Fam as well. Blowing that blink cooldown, you can really tell uh, what the AM wants to do at this point. It's just run around the map, farm, blink, mobility, uh, just try to get as much money as possible. Signify still absolutely in this. It's not like just losing that one fight completely uh, stops them in their tracks. But the problem is that I think Geek Fam are going to start to slow this game down a little bit. And that is absolutely what they need to do to stop this Lena from running around the map and killing everyone. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Lena, she's had her fun, right, for the first 15 minutes. But oh my gosh, that guy is dying. Uh, yeah, not really living up to his name yeah. uh, at that point. Uh, even got the ult out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But as I was saying, you know, Lena had her fun, right? Yeah. If she wanted to win this, she had to kind of, you know, they were signified, they were doing good rotation, great rotations, picking up kills, uh, Lena having her fun, allowing Spectre to farm up. But, you know, they are playing it too passive. They were way ahead. They weren't just a little bit ahead. They were way ahead, right? They should have taken advantage of that to kind of pressure more to force Geek Fam to fight even when they weren't ready. But they've given Anti Mage and the rest of Geek Fam a little bit too much time to kind of uh, passively farm up. And if this goes on, signified, it might you know put them in a pinch for you know, where they don't have that big or huge advantage uh, anymore. I love Earth Spirit just picking up, uh, what is it, Spirit Vessel, uh, which actually, okay, it's got, yeah, two charges, should actually be really, really crucial because that means that if you're trying to, like, if for Undying, right, you're expecting a lot of regen to come through. Uh-oh, not anymore. Yep. Uh, I forget what it takes off of you. Hold on, let me, uh, let me check real fast. Uh, yeah, it takes off 30 regeneration per second. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is just... That is, uh, yeah, not a lot. Yeah, you basically take the un from the undying if uh, it's the, if that's used. But uh, uh, yeah, you take the un off for yeah, sure. You're dying. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a great way to deal with that. Uh, consequently, if you want to put that regen on the uh, anti mage when you go in, you are really going to be a lot tankier than you uh, might normally expect. Uh, you know, vice versa for the Ember Spirit. Uh, either way, I think the threat levels for Geek Fam are really starting to rise. And that AM really just shooting up in the net worth over and over again. Manta style uh, completed. All right, so you see three members of Signify at uh, the top side of the jungle, whereas you know, Geek Fam, they are starting to gather up. They are grouping up. Here we There's go. Initiate. Get to the Earth Spirit. A uh, light striker with oh Laguna. My God, Laguna. Completely negated. Uh, AM back towards the back, just looking for the opportunity to blink right back in. The BKB a little bit late there for the Enigma, but the damage is done from that black hole. At the end of the day, it's a one for one. I definitely thought they'd be a little bit more impactful, but wow, what a, what a way to start and finish a fight. Yeah, that was a definitely a good back and forth. Enigma, even though he did die, he used a great um, black, black uh, hole. Black hole, yeah. And I'm surprised that the Lina st uh, survived uh, with the Yules and the black um, was able to survive there. However, the Sand King unfortunately uh, tried his best, but ended up dying. So yeah, that one for one trade not a huge deal for either teams, but for Signify they are. Uh, not liking the way it, uh, this game is going anymore. Spectre wants to come around, looking for an engage, but actually very low on mana. So I'm just like, okay, well, trying to front a little bit. Well, Lena's like, I would like that gold. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure Lena's really where you need to be putting that, but oh, Scotty oh just God. now picked up here. Oh this my. AM does need to get back into the fight. Light Striker Ray misses. And Earth Spirit's out of there. They are split up. You have to know. Hey, the AM does go in. Manta yeah. style. Already using that counter spell. Blinking on in. The uh, illusion's coming oh through. Tick, my tick. Goodness, Sand King. No mana, no nothing. The blink through the trees finds him out there. Another oh counter gosh. spell just to make sure he doesn't get Bro struck. There it is. 
Manavoy to take him out. Lizard and no chance. Well, yeah, there is no chance for you to survive with this anti-mage anymore. You are done for. <laughs> I almost thought the Eidolon was going to take the kill. Oh, my god! Not able to do it in the end. And Bryant just doesn't stop. He's oh. always going forward, going in. And he's, his magnetizers are so big. And he's Blizzard. just setting this up over and over again. The AM just right-clicking to win. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You are dead. All right, Dying is back here. There's no mana. Bl uh, Blizzard yeah, just can't okay. do anything. He's still going to try to go for it. Enigma in the back for support. Oh, the Manta style. Trying to chase Blizzard down, he's too tanky. And their spirit runs away. Oh my goodness. Undying. Dead is not dying. Starting to get clicked down and... Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, they God -like. gave him too much time. Oh goodness, Signify had the advantage for so long. They were actually capitalizing on it, but they were just busy picking up kills not pushing towers, not, you know, trying and forcing fights in front of Roshan. You know, they were just picking up kills. And then, you know, eventually that's going to backfire. Eventually that's not going to be enough uh, to force uh, the anti-mage to stop farming. I'm still waiting to see what uh, what Lena wants to, to bring back into that. As a lens, the Yules, BKB as well, but... You know, it's not like, you know, Swifty was just like, I have to carry this game, Octarine Spear. It's like, no, 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 no. Um, does kind of know her place, is going to be here, I guess, more and more for crowd control. But I think we're really going to need to see either um, Spectre, like, really step it up, start getting uh, a, a lot of work done. Because I don't think there's a really a backup plan for Signify. I think it's Spectre, and then maybe Lena, kind of? Well, like the thing is, like I, I understand what they, uh, why they picked this. Obviously, uh, they wanted to lean up for the early engage at right after she hit six. Um, all right, there we go. Okay. So that's there another we go. pickoff. So this is what they've been doing. But you know, to continue my point. Uh, Lena will definitely give you that early advantage, right? Till mid game, sure. and slowly, like even though we did see that pick off, it was just a pick off at the wrong position for Geek Fam. So, in a team fight, Lena is slowly going to lose uh, strength because of that anti mage. But by the time Lena starts to lose strength, right, the Spectre comes into play because he's going to almost be done farming as soon as Lena starts to Do lose they have her strength. Damage for this? Uh, I, I mean, maybe they go Rosh and, and take it, but. Well, they, they, they did the ward everything. They did ward everything on the way. No ward on the side of Geek Fam in front of Rush, so they're not going to know. Uh, know. Yeah, no, you are correct, but uh, they might lose Tier 3 for that. Uh, they're going to get the Aegis, and it looks like it will go on to the Spectre. If I'm not mistaken there. No, uh, it went, no, it went it, to Alina. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that makes sense because she's going to blow up. But... Uh, uh, I thought Tier 3 was going to be a lot more uh, contested. It looks like, no, they just shoved the wave and back off. A great Roshan by Signify. Yeah, so, you know, now it's time for Spectre to go up against and step up as the carry. Uh, Lena did her job the early mid-game. But for Geek Fam, we obviously know that the Anti-Mage is super farmed up. Uh, Signify allowed Anti-Mage to kind of not free farm, but still oh, get farmed up the enough. Oh, there's the Blink, the Shackles, the Mass Serpent Wars committed. And there's even the break, but it just takes so long to get that kill. Luckily, they've just got days. All right, well, you know, just as I was saying, Spectre has to step up. He steps up for the team to die. Well, yeah, I guess you got to take one for the team there. <laughs> but my, my my problem is exactly what I, I, I said earlier. It's Spectre is it. Like, yeah. Lena's there for the burst damage, but then you use your skills, and that's kind of it. Well, there we go. The Ember Spirit is not going to be able to do too much. So Lena is still uh, strong against Ember Spirit, but Anti-Mage is the real problem here. Uh, another Tier 2 goes down. I'm surprised that Ember doesn't have like any sort of magic damage mitigation after I think that's the third or fourth tie in this game. Yeah. He's gotten right clicked. Well, if you notice now the net worth and uh, the advantage regarding the gold and the farm went over to Geek Fam, even though they are 12 kills down. So now, 
this is, you know, this is but, getting to the point. Yeah, we're past the 30 minute mark. You know, kills won't matter as much. Obviously, it's better to just get kills, but still, the farm uh, allowing Anti Mage, especially with the Battle Fury, to just farm up is going to not be good for you. And now, finally, Signify wants to make something out of this. Yo, this guy has no chill, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, That's caught. not worth they, it, yeah, for sure. Yeah, smoked in to make something out of this play. Oh, gosh. Uh, we're going for a basher. Actually, whoa, already Abyssal. Uh, blade completed there for uh, the AM, and that means that, uh, I mean, once those right clicks start coming through, even more devastating than before. Yeah. Gonna just stand still. Well, and especially uh, against the Spectre, I mean, it's just not a contest anymore. Like, you just lose. So I think, uh, honestly, Anti-Mage building... All right, smoked up. Super correctly here. Did they have a ward? No, they didn't have the ward where uh, Signify was stationed at. Signify definitely has it warded over there, so they are ready, but obviously they're going to be up. And he just decides to blink in. Yeah, right click start coming through with the stuns, the CC, the chain, the oh, Laguna Blade. Oh my oh, god! Oh, thing of no. beauty! How do you do that? The counter spell perfect! And just an incredible, incredible anti-mage play. This is exactly what it's supposed to look at. A huge black hole, though, and that's one way to do it. Oh, uh, my God. A the three, three, three trade is going back and forth. The anti-mage is still alive. Yeah, it does right-click down the tombstone, so that was mission number one. A buyback from the Earth Spirit to try to turn this one back around, but this is crazy town. Shackles come through. The slow is out there. The Ember, the re-engage. Do we have the right down. clicks? Yep. Yes, we do. Disappears the leading Lena here. They are going to chase. They are going to continue. Look at this Ember Spirit. And we're on the uh, oh. Spectre. Spectre running through. Of course, Spectre can. Oh, get oh up the God. high ground. You can't run. Oh. You can't hide. The blinks. They chase. You can't get away, Brian. And look at how well placed this, these creep pushes are coming forward exactly at the top. Oh. It's as if they planned this. I mean, maybe they did. We'll give it to them if they yeah. meant to do that. But otherwise, you're starting to see the true scary power of what happens when you've got an Earth that can just uh, initiate. Oh and it, this anti-mage is starting to get a little ridiculous. Yeah, it is getting ridiculous. Look at this. Uh, Manta style is just getting rid of tier three. They probably won't be committing to the barracks yet. They are gonna fall back. They're gonna call it a day. They definitely came back. They got that advantage. 9k net worth lead. And it's almost all anti-mage, by the way. Yeah. Look at that. Uh up 7k over. 40 the kills and three deaths for anti-mage. That's a, a that is a fairly good score there, ending yeah, life. Uh, definitely is. I would prefer that in at least one of my games. Uh, not as easy as it looks, but... Yeah, but Ember Spirit, six kills, six deaths, you know, 13 assists. What? So, you know, Ember Spirit definitely uh, staying in the game, helping out Anti-Mage to finish the things off here. Oh, I love that Ember has uh, Lincolns now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the mm -hmm. ultimate. Okay, all right. We're done with that Lunaguna Blade shenanigans. Yep. Uh, just making sure that he's a little bit harder to take out. All right. Well, Lena, if you see her, uh, 11 and 3, but... Lina being 11 and 3 at the 35 minute mark is not going to be a huge problem. Here we have to. Spectre has to be 11 and 3, not 9 and 4. You know, Spectre needs to be farmed up more if uh, if he wants to take out the Anti Mage and the Amber Stump and live through the Black Hole on Enigma. We'll see if he's able to do so. Now the positions have changed. Now Signify is delaying this game. They want to farm yeah. up a little bit more. 10 kills up, 12k down, yeah. a testament to the gold coming through. Several uh, plus gold passives uh, coming through as well. I think um, uh, Shadow Shaman has uh, one in his talent tree, and uh, I think there's maybe one more. I, I forget, I'm not up on my... Uh, so but Brian, oh, the engage is now getting engaged upon. And he will go down the biggest uh, strength for Geek Fam. Now taking out before this fight even starts trying to chase in onto the carries, but they are out of here. All right, well, the Earth Spirit goes down. Yeah, the Enigma goes down as well. So now it's just going back and forth. Even uh, though Geek, Geek Fam still has a huge lead now, 10K lead still. But Signify, if you keep allowing Signify to get picked, uh, uh, get those picks, 
then you know this game is going to be over an hour long. They're gonna, it's just going to keep going back and forth. I'm hoping against hope that this uh, Lena Crystallis is for a, uh, a Bloodthorn. Because Ember Spirit has one too, but that's probably for Desolator. Or not Desolator, uh, Daedalus. Spirit, you have to be the distraction. You have to allow the anti mage to do free damage. You have to be the one with the rest of you know Enigma, Shadow Shaman, and Earth Spirit to take out those CCs for anti mage to kind of uh, do the damage. Tier two goes down. See these both both of these teams, Signify and Geek Fam, they know when to back off. Yeah. They know when to not commit when it's unnecessary. And, you know, both teams having that uh, control is going to make a good game come out. And I love that Lena's got the Lincolns as well, mm -hmm. saying, look, now I'm the one at risk of getting right click. Yeah. But you're right. The, the control, I feel like for Signify, they were just running the game uh, for the first maybe 10, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, but now uh, sufficiently the tides of battle have turned along with that battle fury. I wonder what's next here. Uh, what is that final item? Uh, oh, okay, there it is, the butterfly. Yep. As if you had to make it even harder. There's the blink, the engage, the link is not enough, and there is a Laguna. Give right. one more kill on to Lena, saying, look, we can take you out before you initiate on us. They do have the vision. They're not going to commit to a fight. They're just going to play. Defensively, 50 more seconds until Enigma comes out, and oh, the ball uh, strike gets the no, Another huge the engage, such a perfect combo. But AM going forward, godlike, someone stop him is right. Uh, a black hole on everyone, but Swifty, look at that. The right clicks come through. The Yules for the save. Yes, oh yes, might be no, no. It's gonna get blown up, but he's not quite uh, dead just yet. Maybe. Ember Spirit goes down. Thankfully, the AM is able to make it out alive and might be able to rejoin this fight for a, a, a turnaround, but what a crazy, chaotic fight we just witnessed. The three for two in the end, it signifies favor. All right, well, even though the Lina did end up getting picked off, she was staying alive for so long. For sure. sure. Yeah, she was buying time. And, you know, that's great. That is great. And that is why they were able to do this 3-for-2 uh, uh, trade. Oh, that was DD that Rune! Ah. As, As I was just complimenting them for that positive trade, they make it even. Yeah, well, let's talk about now a double damage. Uh, DD did go to Anti-Mage, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, uh, hold on to your butts because it is about to get real. Uh, if AM is able to, like, make use of this... He's a little bit tangly. Where is he going to put this to use? So I'm looking for the buff indicator to see if that is where it was. I totally missed that. I knew that was what they were fighting over, but... Right, here we go. Yeah, it's going on to Roche now. Uh, I don't think there's too much that can stop this. Let's see what is around the area. I mean, Sand King is near. Look how fast Roche drops at this point. Yep. Uh, they are coming for it. They have an idea because of the ward on their side of the jungle, but I don't know. We'll see if they uh, if they'll be on Undying. time here. Undying's there, but I think Roche might drop just in the nick of time. Oh yeah. my goodness. Immediate hex though, and that's gonna mean that Roshan does drop in time. The engage, look at it. The, uh, oh, the no, Laguna play no. completely blocked. The BKB in perfect time. Brian does go down here. But look at the Ember in the back. Might try to get the pick off onto the Sand King, but gets picked off instead. The last second, last hit does the job, but is it just too much? Oh, even oh. with the counter. The Aegis is popped here. How good is one anti-mage against the world? Might just be good enough. I think the Undying, yeah, just going to trade his life to let the rest of his team leave. Take out the Tombstone for good measure. Well, I got to say, um, if Geek Fam kind of held off a little bit more, I know that Sand King initiated with the yeah. Rose Strike, but 
if Geek Fan was uh, able to kind of stay alive for maybe like two or three more seconds before getting initiated on. Mm -hmm. Because Anti Mage, yeah, he was almost done with Rosh, but it took him a little longer than I expected. So, you know, yeah. they already got the. The Geek Fam already got picked off and then Anti Mage joined the fight, which, you know, forced him to lose or use the uh, Aegis right off the bat. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was a trade 2 to 2 or 2 to 3 map, uh, maybe, but I think it could have gone way better for Geek Fam if they were able to hold off for like three more seconds. Or, yeah, or take it three seconds faster, oh, uh, take yeah. the Roche, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. No, uh, Alacrity uh, playing this really, really well. Um, for, uh, for for Geek Fam, I, I really feel like uh, oh yeah, cheese as well. Sorry, uh, I'm not used to yeah. keeping track here. Oh, okay, I thought that was uh, the real Spectre there for a second. Wait a second. Stops the push on the top lane, gets the push going, and at this point we're starting to deal with like these really heavy macro concepts. I think this is the longest game we've had of the day, if I'm not mistaken, or at least yep. close to it. Yeah. 43 minutes in could all come down to one or two fights. I wish we could show buyback uh, information because yeah. it is very, very close. Yeah, we see 36K for of net worth for anti-mage. That is just huge. But look at Spectre's itemization. Really itemizing yeah. pretty well to deal with it. The MKB to stop the, um, uh, the butterfly yep. from uh, allowing it's those a must. dodges to come uh -huh. through. Yep. It's a must. BKB, this is a full 10 second one uh, coming in for uh, for the AM. So, as if you needed to be even more anti magic. Yeah. All right, well, we'll have to see here. Uh, Dina oh, holding is the DD. Oh, and there it is, a double damage uh, Spectre. Yeah. Oh. He has to utilize this, and you know, yeah, you can farm the ancients, but is this really where you want to use the DD? Well, I guess you had to pick it up sooner or later, but you're right. You want to have that for the fight. Amber pushing bottom. All right. Does right have now. the ability to get out if he needs to. So both of these teams know that it can it can just sway one way if one team fight goes wrong. So they are playing it super passive, understandable. But look at this, uh, you know the the fight with wards. There's so many offensive and defensive wards on the side of Signify. Yeah, the uh, Geek Fam has some, but wow, Signify Dave already kind of uh, finished out uh, prepping. I, I love the rotation here from Signify, saying, yeah. "Look, okay, Flame is, or Ember Spirit's been down here a little bit too long. Let's rotate down, catch him out." No, he's already on the rotation. Ember Spirit. I mean, it's just so hard to catch this guy. It's just able to be so mobile with that fire remnant. Smoke up. Oh, bro, Shaking strike up. on in. Oh, uh, AM going forward, 10 second BKB is popped. Looks like he's going in onto the Tombstone and the Undying in the back. Uh, Black Hole completely whiffs, so that's not where All right, you want to go. I see the Epicenter being procced by the Sand King. There we go, catches on. Laguna Blade to catch out the Flame Spear. It just doesn't stop, even with the Lincolns. Wow. Swifty. Uh, the R button. It's just, it just works so well on his keyboard. And now, look at this. Not even, just completely effortless here for Blizzard. <laughs> trying to even delay wow. the death timer. All right. Well, they are trying to stagger the death timer. And, you know, Geek Fam came back, right? They were up, I think, 12K. Yeah. And now they're only 4K up. So, you know, this being positive 4K net worth is not even being positive because they dropped from 12K lead to 4K, which means it's saying the Signify is coming back. Oh, they're gonna try to cheese here. Swifty, I think they know that, oh man. I'm just waiting for the Insta-Jib to come up on our screen. Well, ah, uh, TP's out. Yeah, TP's out to the mid. They are gonna, I guess they're gonna Oh, trade. they're gonna trade. Yeah, they're gonna trade. So we're gonna need to see that Glyph come through here pretty soon. Do they have it? Well, they have it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I knew that uh, oh, Signify have go. it. Yeah, Counter Glyph comes through just at the last second. So we oh are going to trade probably racks for racks if, uh, yeah, AM can definitely uh, take these through. But if they're not too careful, Signify could go for more. Well, Signify, they finally got their first tier three down. Now they're going to try to go for top. But if you remember, Geek Fam already has one oh, the TV of the back. tier three. They're going to take the second tier three turret, but. Watch out, Swifty. There they go. go. The engage on in, but the right clicks oh, come through. It's an ember down. blown up. Before
before the fight even starts. A or look at anti mage, the look at the damage. It's coming through. The Oracle getting right click. The BKB about to expire here, but the cheese comes through for the heal. Oh AM God, not AM. strong enough, and he'll drop be dead and instant buyback. That's right, but an Enigma going down here. AM knows he has no BKB anymore. And look at the bench. Oh right clicks gosh. come through. AM. Look at how tanky he the is. The man is being burned, but oh the stun gosh. is too long. All right, well, this time that Spectre is on the AM, getting bashed, getting stunned by Lina. And it is unstoppable. And this is going to be too much, even with all the buybacks in the world. Bryant's down, and so is everyone. It's a team wipe for Geek Fam and Signify. Will dominate their way to their second win. Geek Fam will go down 0-3. Wow, this was an amazing game. The GG has come out, but the back and forth.